Today at SPG1 Tactical, we do an impromptu stress test on some eye protection and hearing protection. So one of the things we're big at at NLB courses and ISP courses uh, is testing out and function testing your gear, stress testing your gear. Uh, so as some of you may know, I'm getting ready to uh, train for the tactical games in September. And so I've been on a search for finding gear that will withstand the rigors of the strenuous workouts and um, extreme type of physical activities. So two of the items that uh, I've looked into were eye protection and ear protection because I want something that's durable, preferably won't fog, um, and are ballistically rated. Uh, plus, I spend a lot of time on training courses, uh, so having correct and protective glasses is very important. So uh, I was referenced and recommended for these uh, Gators uh, glasses. These are the Magnum Ballistic that are photochromatic. So. I'm out here two parts testing. One is to see how well they handle to a strenuous workout. It's approximately 90 degrees outside right now. Um, I'm in the sh shade at the moment, but we'll see what happens when I get out uh, under the sun, see how good they are at transitioning for um, uh, sunlight protection. Uh, and then also these auto uh, noise barrier micros uh, as far as in-ear ear protection because I don't want something big and bulky um, cover my head. I don't want a bunch of sweat staying uh, in and around my ears. Uh, you know, you're going to be climbing up and down ropes, going under objects. So uh, these auto noise barrier micros were another uh, item that I found in my research. So as I said at the beginning, we want to stress test our gear, make sure it works. Uh, so I'm out here about to do a, a workout and see how well these things hold up. So follow up with you uh, afterwards. All right, so here I am post-workout. Just did uh, just under 30 minutes. We did five sets of 20 push-ups, 20 prisoner squats, 10 pull-ups, uh, 10 walking lunges each leg, uh, 10 dips, a short sprint, about 100 yards total each time, and then 20 ab crunches. So I did five rounds of that. Max heart rate got up to 180. Average, I think it said 152. Um, so certainly sweating my nuggies off, uh, certainly is strenuous. So really putting the, the Gators glasses and the, uh, auto noise barriers to the test. This is just a, an initial impromptu, uh, if you will, live, uh, capture to see how these things would do. Obviously I'm probably going to do a more extensive review on each of these, uh, in the future, uh, really go into depth on them, do longer workouts, more strenuous stuff, but the positive review from, from right here is uh, for the sunglasses, they didn't budge. Um, 30 minutes of heavy sweat, uh, 88, 90 degree weather, um, no fogging, no issues. Uh, and honestly, as I was running, uh, it almost looked like there was nothing there. It was clear, like running is like, man, it's, it's almost like there's no barrier between my eyes and what I'm seeing. So from a shooting perspective, uh, that's phenomenal. Um, Downside of the sunglasses is they didn't quite get as dark as I thought. They're photochromatic, so uh, the intention was that if I shoot indoors or a uh, cloudy day, you know, they lighten up to clear, and then on a really sunny day like today, that they darken up. Um, they only darken up enough just to take the edge off of the harsh sunlight. So, pardon me, I've got uh, these baby green eyes that are very sensitive to sunlight, uh, so I'm uh, kind of a wear my sunglasses at night kind of guy. Uh, so that's a little disappointing, but for my purposes, they do what they need to do, which is kind of take the edge off so I can focus on uh, the targets or the, uh, the task at hand. Uh, the autos worked swimmingly. Um, they're supposed to last a long time. Uh, I threw them back in the case at the end there, uh, and they said 90%. Honestly, I think every time they come out and you throw them back in, it immediately says 90% until they, they get in there for a few minutes and they charge back up to 100. But I'm pretty sure they were higher than 90%, but dropped them back in and they said 90%. Um, and so uh, the funny part about the ears, though, is they didn't budge. So that's a, a phenomenal thing. Uh, but it's this weird duality because it's almost like you have supersonic hearing, kind of like other electronic ears. But your ears also feel a little clogged, if that makes any sense. 
Um, so nothing that's uncomfortable, nothing you can't get used to, but it was a little odd feeling almost like you have a, almost like without the pain, an ear infection or like clogged ears or something, or if you've ever been scuba diving, you can't hear really well, but at the same time you have those electronic ears uh, pumping into your, your, your eardrums. So I could hear everything perfectly fine, um, but it also felt like my ears were clogged. So that's something I'll have to train with and around. But as far as uh, battery length so far, I mean, it was only a 30 minute workout, but it was, they were great. And as far as uh, not budging and having any issues there, they didn't move the least bit. So, so far, both of these products uh, I'm pretty pleased with. So again, I'll be doing more of an in-depth review uh, on each of these individually in the future, but as a first level report, uh, I am proud to say that both of these were a success for this first strenuous workout. So until next time, stay smart, stay safe, and stay tactical, my friends.